you like it or not. <laughs> All right, give Brother Bone Jesus a big hand. Let me go though. Love you, brother. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Is God good to us? Amen. Yes, He is. He's the best God there is. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We got the best. Yes, we do. That's the way I feel about it. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I got the best one they are. Amen. There's many gods out there in the Bible said, but there's only one true and living God. God. Amen. That's right. I, mean, I know who he is. Amen. That's a blessing to me. I, we was talking yesterday. And uh, we was talking how that a lot of things people get excited about and they, they're happy about. I said the best thing in my life is to know who Jesus is. That's Amen. right. Amen. Because the Bible said it's the gospel's here to tell them that are lost. That's right. right. But I thank God tonight that I know who he is. And I'm glad to know who he is. Yes. Me and Pat was talking the other day. You know how, uh, even though if you are raised in this, you still you can't see it. Yeah. you got to come to a point to where you got to, I know it helps, but uh, to really see for yourself. When you see for yourself, ain't nothing can shake you all right. right. And that's the revelation I really thank God for. In this whole book, I thank him for that one more than anything. Amen. Because, well, if I don't know who he is, then I'm in trouble. Amen. But I'm glad to be in the house of God tonight. I'm glad to be able to stand before you another time and, and bring you a word from God because yes. I know God has given us a word to preach tonight. And Amen. I really appreciate what God does yeah. for, us, for us. He loves us enough Come on. that. He'll give us a word to help us through. Yeah, and we can make it to heaven. That yeah. means so much, don't we? To have a word. We got to have a word to make it. God right. Regardless. And, and I thank God tonight for his word that will give us strength that we can keep pressing on because surely this is a pressing way. Yes, yes, it is. We're fighting things that's never been uh, really fought before, but we have a God that's able to help us through. I believe that. And I love him, don't you? I appreciate him. I'm expecting God to do something. In our life, and she, I'm Amen. glad. I'm glad that He's able to help us to come together another time. Sister Pam was talking about, you know, this could be our last time. We don't know, it. so we ought to make good of it tonight. Amen. That's right. Amen. I want. I want to uh, leave the house of God knowing I've been in church. Amen. So that's the way I like going. Amen. I like going to church, leaving knowing I've been in church. Yeah. I tell you, we're living in the time now in the world. It's just a struggle, it seems like, to get uh, anything from God anymore. But He's still able to do it, and yes, he is. I love him. Do you love him? Won't you give him a hand, Amen. 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 He is worthy of all the praise yes, that we can ever give him. He is worthy of it. That's right. And I want to be one that will praise my God. If you have your Bibles tonight, let's go to Hebrews chapter 13. Yes, Lord. Hebrews 13. And we'll start at verse 1. I got a few scriptures I want to read. And the Bible says, Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. For thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourself also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But hormones and adultery God will judge. Mm -hmm. Let your conversation be without covenants, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. Remember them which have the rule over you, who has spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follows, considering the end of their conversation. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever, be not carried about with divers strange doctrine, for it is good that the heart be established with grace and not with meat, which
which had not profit them Amen. that had been occupied therein. Amen. We have an altar whereof they have no right to be which serve the tabernacle. For the body of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sins are burned without the king. Wherefore, Jesus also that also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood and suffer without the gates. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the king bearing his reproach. For we for here have we no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Hallelujah. Ain't that good? You Amen. can be seated if you want and give him a hand clap. Amen. Amen. But I want us to look at verse 8 where the Bible says this. The Bible says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. He's the same God. Amen. He's the same healer. He's the same deliverer. He's, he's everything, ain't he? Amen. He's everything. God is not a God that changes. He don't change today. He don't change tomorrow. What he done yesterday, he can do today. What he was yesterday, he's still today. Yeah, right. Same Amen. God. Amen. I love him. Now, thank you for being that kind of God to me. And I was thinking, you know, God, I was praying the other day. And, and, and I, you know, been watching some of the news and stuff. But uh, uh, Trump's got this saying, let's make America great again. Uh, and I was praying, God said, Let's make our churches great. Come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I believe that the Bible says that judgment must yes. begin at the house of God. That's, yes. that's the Bible. Yeah. And as uh, as we was uh, as I was thinking, meditating upon the scripture, how that how that we are the church, brother yeah. Jr. of today. Yes, we are. And we're serving a God that that raised the dead 2,000 years ago, he's able to do it today. And that's the way I believe that he is. Don't you be the God that don't never change. And I began to wonder, I said, Lord, we, we look around, we can see how wicked it is, how time has really changed uh, from 20 years ago to now. Yeah. It's almost like a different world. Come on, but I know a God that still yet is the same. He was, yeah. he was the same. When Peter walked this earth, God... Uh, was with them and Paul and James and John and all them. He can still get the same God today. Ain't that good to have a God? I might change and you might change. But listen, God will never change. He's the same. The Bible says uh, to, He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. If we live to be a, uh, if we live 20 more years down the road, guess what? He's going to be the same God then as He is right now. Ain't it? That's the kind of God that we serve. And I look around and I can see uh, how the people is changed. Uh, from the word of God. We looked around. Yes. I was talking the other day, me and my wife was, how the, a lot of folk, you know, the older Christians, they're all gone. And, and now here are just a handful. Look around in our churches. And you can see they're falling off to nothing. Yes. Yes. And it's, it's, it's bad. We're living in a time uh, where he said they'd be a falling away, didn't he? Yes. Uh, they don't want the truth no more. They don't want to live like the Bible says no more. Uh, they don't even want you to preach what the Bible says. But God... And God is still yet the same God. Yeah, yeah. And I began to think and meditate today. I said, Lord, uh, what you done in the book of Acts, uh, you are able to do it today. Yeah, he didn't change. Uh, and he ain't going to change. You know where the problem is at? It's in the church. And I believe. Yeah, uh, and the Bible said the judgment must begin uh, at the house of God. Uh, America, the looking for a man to straighten this country out. It'll never be straightened out by a man. I don't care uh, who they put in there. Uh, he ain't going to be able to be straight now. What's going to make America great again? If we get a good church going. If a church, a brother J.R. would get down the business with God and begin to live like the Word of God, we can see a great America again. But I got news for the devil. He ain't going to place a man in the government hall and make this world great again. What's going to make America great is the house of God. The children of God. The old saints need to get back to the honor and begin to pray and seek the face of God. Amen. That's right. They want America to be great again, but they don't want to go back to the Word of God. Amen. 
I read in on today yeah. where God done everything in the books of Acts. I, I have that uh, they were healed and uh, delivered and they were made free. It's because the church was great. Uh, the people loved God. They loved His Word. They, uh, they wanted to do what the Word said. The Bible says uh, in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 2, uh, when Peter come out there in the upper room, he was a preacher to them. Uh, and the Bible said there was 3,000 souls added to them uh, yeah. because somebody wanted to hear the Word of God. Uh, but now it's got to where uh, that you can't hardly preach the word of God. Uh, we got 30, 40 year old saints uh, that's a sitting in the house of God. And when you preach the word of God, uh, they want to get up and leave and get upset. Uh, yeah. I'm going to tell you, uh, it's time that we make our churches great again. Uh, Brother J.R. Sugar Code Word uh, ain't going to help us. Uh, the traditions ain't going to help us. Uh, I'm going to tell you what's going to help us uh, is getting back to the word of God. Uh, yeah. Preach what Peter did. Uh, James and John and all these apostles. Ain't it funny we want? We want what the Bible says, but we don't want to do what it says. I'm going to tell you tonight, we're living in a generation of rebellions. They don't want the Word of God. They want somebody to pat them on the back, Brother Wayne, and say, you're all right. Just keep doing what you're doing. That ain't going to get us to heaven. But what is going to get us into the pearly gates is it being by or born by of the Word of God? And that's what we got to have. We want a great America, but let's get our churches great again. That's where it's going to start. It's going to start at the house of God. They can holler all they want. He's going to do this and he's going to do that. But I'm going to tell you, it's a church that's fell away from the truth. The Bible says some shall depart from the uh, from the faith, didn't it? Uh, some shall depart from uh, giving heed to seducing spirits uh, and doctrines of devil. You think the devil don't try uh, to seduce us? Uh, he will seduce us. Uh, he'll say you're preaching too hard. Uh, if you don't have to preach that way no more. Uh, it's not like that no more. Uh, the Bible said that God uh, is the same deity. Uh, he's the same God uh, that preached Peter. Uh, he's the same God. Uh, and that call him in the temple. And he ain't changed none. But what's happened is that we have changed and got away from the word of God. Amen. 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 See that they that are rising is they are filthy rags. Uh-huh. That's what they are. They stink in the nostrils of God. But the day are, I gotta live like the Bible if I'm gonna make it to heaven. If I want my home to be great, if I want my church to be great, I, I've got to live like the Bible says. I've got to do and preach what the Bible says. But we got so many preachers today. They're preaching everything. They're preaching anything that the crowd wants to hear. And God is not even in the midst. But I don't want to be well caught up. I don't want to be in that seducing spirit of you. Uh, we want our churches to be great. Uh, let's get the word of God back in the pulpit. Uh, then we're going to have a great America. But uh, man, ain't going to straighten us out. Uh, it's going to take the Holy Ghost. Uh, and it's in time uh, to keep you and I on the straight and narrow path. They want to make America great again. Let's make our churches great. Let's get started out on the right foot. Yeah. We got to start out right. If we don't start out right, we ain't going to end up right, are we? Yeah. And I begin to wonder how. Today we got so many preachers. They're preaching. There's many ways to heaven. They don't know who to pray to. They got the people confused so bad. They don't even know the God that tells sermon. Yeah. But I thank God tonight. I know who He is. I know the same one that stood in the beginning. He's He's still here real tonight. He's still here able to save tonight. He's still here able to heal tonight. His name is Jesus. He ain't never changed, but he's got a church. But that's few in numbers that's not going to change also. Amen. I ain't going to change with you. Come on. I can't change. If I change, I might as well quit. Amen. That's the way I look at it. Right, if I can't accept that Jesus was God manifested in the flesh, I'm wasting my time. Yeah. We're going to have to make our churches great by preaching the Word of God. We Sometimes we wonder, Brother J.R.Y., a lot of times that our churches is empty. It's because that we've had our ideal in it. We've had a little bit of a doctrine here. Some there. Ain't it going to help us? What's going to help them is the anointed word of God. 
uh, because the Bible says uh, because of the anointing uh, the yoke is destroyed uh, if we can get him in the house of God uh, and get the word uh, and get the anointing to flow and, uh, and the chains will break uh, and they will be delivered uh, and they can be healed uh, and they can be made free uh, and we need to make our churches great again yes. we've got to get back to preaching the word of God Amen. God's deal with me yeah. Preach the word, preach it just like I give it to you. Yeah. Don't cut no corners uh, because that's what's wrong with America. Uh, they cut so many corners uh, and the devil slipped in uh, and he's took over. Uh, and we wonder why uh, that our churches, uh, uh, Brother J.R., uh, is so uh, uh, so vacant. Uh, it's because uh, they got people out there that wants the word. Uh, and God's got a people uh, that's uh, hungry for the word. Uh, he said there'd be a famine in the land, didn't he? Uh, and not for bread or but for the hearing of the word of God. He's got preachers out there. He's got people out there that are want the word that they can be saved and healed by. What is that word? It's Jesus Christ and him crucified. If I preach to you three for God, you don't know what to do. You don't even know who to pray to. I'm going to thank God tonight that God is still. I've got a few good ones left. That's going to turn this thing around. And we can make a difference. I believe that we can. Do you believe that you can make a difference? I believe. You see, where these two or three gathered in my name, I'll be in the midst. We want America great again. Let's get God back in the picture. Yes. Right, Look at man. Man ain't going to do nothing to make it worse. Right. He ain't going to do nothing but just, just stir up a sack. Right. All they want to do is talk about one another and bring up something that happened 30 years ago. Right. When God say me, cash a, a my a past in the sea. Yeah. I'm a new creature in you. Yeah. My God is real. He ain't a good God. That's going to dig your past up. Because he's a God that changes not. If you don't change, he ain't going back to the, to the river and get your sin. And say, look what you done. You can't do nothing. God don't do that stuff. Our God is a, is a friend. He's a savior. He's the one that died for us. He's the one that rose again the third day and we can live. Let's make our churches great again. I thank God tonight that somebody to want the word that will help them to defeat the devil. We can defeat the enemy but we got to get with the word of God. We got to be led by the spirit of God. I can't go down the road thinking what I want to do. I got to go the Bible way. If I ever make it to heaven it's going to be doing by the word of the living God. Amen. Make our churches great again. Come on. Yeah. Let's make them great. Do you believe that you can make your church great again? Amen. I believe we can, don't you? Oh, yeah. We the ones who got the vision. If America's got a vision, they can make America great again by, by electing some man. What's wrong with the church's vision? And we can make our churches great. America never be great again until it gets back into the Word of God. This country was founded upon the Word of God. But the devil was crept in and he's caused the preachers to back down. And they lay down and turn away from the Word of God. But thank God tonight, I ain't a backing down with you. I'm not in the devil that uh, calls me uh, to leave uh, what God has given me. Uh, I can help somebody. Uh, we might not reach everybody, uh, but if we can reach one, uh, it's going to be worth it all. Uh, and let's make our churches great again. Amen. Amen. By the Word of God. Thank you. I'm preaching the Word of God. Not by what I think, not by doctrine of men, not by my righteousness. Not by my tradition, but by the Word of God. If we want to be delivered, it's going to take the Word of God. I'm the point of you and I. But you ever walk down the street of God, it's going to take the Word of God. It's going to take something, Brother Wayne, in this time and to get people back to the altar and get them back on their knees. I'm going to tell you, anything ain't going to do it. It's just not any kind of walk is going to cause you to walk down the street of God. But we got to get back to the old path and what Jesus said is a good way. I thank you, don't you, for the true word that will help me to live like he wants me to. Amen. Peter, James, and John, all these men, they preached the word of God. 
They had an anointing in their life. Brother J.R., if I want you to know it in my life, I'm going to have to decrease. Amen. I'm talking about me. Amen. I'm talking about my flesh. Amen. I've got to decrease. I can't listen to what he wants to do. I can't walk after what he wants to walk after. I've got to walk after the Word of God. The Bible says that those that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Before that we can ever see your miracle great again, we're going to have to start with the house of God. We're going to have to make our churches great again. I wonder today, I said, Lord, so many little children, they grown up. They was born 20 years ago but not even that far back just about 15 years ago I seen on the news where there was three teenagers who went and done some things and they were running from the law and now you think of that a little teen and 12 a 13 year old boy is already in trouble a mom and daddy at the house of God but they need to get their children back in the house of God and let them hear some word and it calls him to obey their parents. I'm going to tell you tonight, but children is growing up and they're plum aliens. You wonder why that there's so much killing going on, so much still. Kids that was born 20 years ago that grown up and they can't do nothing with them. The prisons are full. The jail houses are full. And mom and daddy don't care what they do. Turn them loose and let them go. They ought to have them in the house of God. They ought to brought them up in the church. What the word of God was being preached with the anointing. And my brother they are. And they say, oh, I took them to church. But you put them under a false doctor. That wasn't going to help them. And you placed them under a ministry. That was no anointing in them. That they were worried about. And these big old churches. That got no anointing in them. That's where he wants you to go. He wants you to go to those churches. He wants you to be a neighbor in that church. But I thank God tonight. I'm funny what I eat at you. I'm not going to eat but just any old thing. If he ain't coming out of the Word of God, I don't want to. Because that's what's going to take to get us out of here is the Word of God. I can jump high. I can speak in tongues. That don't mean a heal of beans. What's going to mean is being there. like the word says. That's what it's going to take. And the Bible says, and some shall depart from the faith, did he? And what do you think he's talking about? And they was once in it, but they got out of it. And because, and because somebody was lying in their pocket, I'm going to tell you, I'm not for sale or you. And the devil ain't going to give me to sell out. But my anointing, I'm God. I know what it's going to take to get a miracle great again. It's going to take the word of God. It's going to take you and I but to make our churches great and we can get this country lined out. Amen. Oh, preacher, it'll never happen. The Bible teaches you and I all things is possible to them that believe it. All things. Everything. We can make a difference in our community. Too. And what's going to take is preaching the word of God. And why you think that they brought out the sick and laid them in the street. Hoping the shadow of Peter would overshadow them. And they knew these men had the good. And they knew they had the genuine wine. But no in their life. That's what we need. We need our churches to be great again. The singing is all right. The good preaching is all right. But we can to have the anointing. That's what's going to destroy the young. That's what separates the God's preacher of the man's preacher. It's the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you, we got thousands of running around with the Bible under their arms, but they're not called. And the Lord thank the God and the world's a falcon actor. I'll come to my church. And maybe that's why I don't get in the many churches because I want to preach the word of God, but nothing but the word of God. It's going to take the word of God. If we want to move with God, how many want to move with God? I want to see God move, don't you? I want to see him do what he done in the book of Acts. He ain't changed. 
The Bible said he's the same yesterday today and forever. Until you believe that, I believe that, don't you? Until you believe that we can have a miracle, signs and wonders working among our church. But we sure can. But we're going to have to get back to the Word of God. But we've got to go back to the basic. And we've got to lay out the foundation that Jesus is God. He's the only one that they are. And they ain't but one way to heaven. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He's the one. Amen. World don't want that. They don't want you preaching Jesus is God. They don't want you preaching that you must be born again. That's right. Of the one another spirit. That's right. They don't want you baptizing in his name. We're local. They consider us as as people that don't even know what we're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. A man that give me this revelation. This revelation come to him by the Holy Ghost. Of the one that come back on the day of Pentecost. That's the revelation that we need back in the house of God. We don't need a man's ideals. We corrupted the word of God with our ideals. Brother J.R. We wonder why God ain't a saving like he used to. Like he ain't doing what he used to. He ain't in God. It's in you and I. It's very easy to take on another spirit. But I thank God tonight for the truth of living Holy Ghost. I come back on the day of Pentecost. Tell me something. How can I have the real Holy Ghost? I never preach Jesus. Tell me something. I ain't got a hold of the year. Tell me how that I can be born again if I don't have the genuine Holy Ghost who takes the real genuine in this entire time. How can I preach to you? How can I ever stand before you and preach that Jesus is God if I don't have the revelation? It takes the Spirit, don't it? It takes the Holy Ghost yeah. to reveal this thing. It's something that the world don't have. And they don't want. And they don't want to hear nothing about it. But it only comes one way. He ain't going to come to the Son. He ain't going to come to the Father. He ain't going to come to the Holy Ghost. It's going to come to them by. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the only God that they are. And the Bible says. And there are three that bears record in heaven. Three. These three are what? Come on. These three are one. Amen. You can't separate them. You can't separate them. There's three that bear record in earth. The water, the blood, and the spirit. Amen. You're looking at it right here. Amen. But I'm still in Mr. Adam's house. I'm going to tell you I've got his revelation. I thank God tonight for the revelation. It's something that the world don't want. And they used to have it years ago. But they turned away from it. And they'll come to church. And they'll shout. And they'll speak in tongues. And they'll turn over the benches. But they don't know who he is. But the Bible said that they will have a form of godliness. And deny the power thereof. But thank God tonight for the true and living the Holy Ghost I come back on the day of Pentecost in every church that you go into that you can hear a word that's right no. Amen. it's not Amen. they say they got it but when you get up and begin to tell them about Jesus they get mad at you and want to run you off right. how can the Holy Ghost get mad at Jesus he ain't going to do it it's not divided God ain't divided he ain't going to show you one thing today and tomorrow show you something else. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What he showed Peter, he's still showing people today. But they don't want it. The Bible said they have the hunger, the thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. I'm going to tell you tonight, we've got to make our church a great again about preaching the Word of God. If we want souls in, let's get on a fast. And let's pray. And let's go. God, now bring him in. He'll give you the word to preach. And we'll bring him to this altar. We hear a lot of preaching of the brother Wayne. And they'll come in bound. And they'll leave bound. What's the world? And they've done it for years. That preacher behind the pulpit, he don't have enough power to do nothing. He don't even have the discernment of the Spirit. I'm going to tell you, we've got to make our churches great again before we can ever have a great country. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Amen.
It's going to make America great again. It doesn't cut us and everything else. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna make America great. What's gonna make America great is it's a church get back to business. I'm gonna tell you that's what it's gonna take. It ain't gonna take a man, man can't do nothing. All he's gonna do is make a mess out of it. Look what a mess we're in tonight. I'm because of man. The words God, they done right now the church house. But they're still you to go. I see him sitting on the, the front seat. The next day he's out cussing and swarming. Ain't that a shame? And the American people don't even know what's we stand before. But they want to run that little man down after preaching the word of God. I tell them they must be born again. They don't want nothing to do with him. He's loco. Take him out and lock him out. And they'll do that. And they've done that 2,000 years ago. And they'll do it tonight also. But I thank God tonight. And you may throw us in jail. But God's going to get us out. But the jail can't hold us. And they ain't nothing can stop the real power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's make our churches great. Again, they can be great again, Brother J.R. Yes. It's up to you and I. It's up to the church. If we want our churches great again, we got to get to work back in the dome. Right. Right. Little Billy and Sally's growed up and they're plum hellions because mommy and daddy did take them to church and learn them about the ways of God. I can remember a time, Brother J.R., and you could drive down that old holler and there were kids in the neighborhood to be out playing. And mommy and daddy would be a sitting on the porch and we'd be a reading the Bible. But now you drive down the same road and you don't see a soul because they got these little things that they give them and throw them in the back room. And they done bought all these acts and put on them. That's what you want with America. And you think America's going to be great again? But when these spirits are running wild, well, she'll never be great again. Unless the church gets great again. That's the only way that America will ever be great again. I want to see God move, don't you? It's going to start right here. But with you and I tonight, if we want America great, then let's get the churches together. And let's say, let's turn this around. We can do it. I believe that we can do it with all my heart. I believe that God's wanting us to get together and we can turn this thing around. The God said, told me and you that he give us power, didn't he? He give us all power in heaven and in earth. He didn't say I give the president the power. He said, I'll give you power. But we the one that has power. But we can turn it around. But we're going to have to get back on our knees and begin to seek the face of God and say, God, what is it that you want me to preach? What do you want me to do? And tell me what to say. I don't know what to say if you don't give it to me. Amen. I refuse to preach if he don't anoint me, brother. Amen. Amen. I refuse to preach if he don't give me the message. Amen. But I know God's able to do it. It's going to take the word of God to deliver us folk today. It's going to take the same word that Peter now preached on the day of Pentecost. They got people's lives turned around. And they got going to tell you, when you get God involved in something, the devil's got to go. A lot of folks don't want to fight the devil. And they try to bring the hang around. And they wouldn't get him round up. I'm going to tell you, I don't want him around my house to you. I don't want him to hang around my house. And because and they spirits are loose today and that we've never faced before that we are dealing with right now. Amen. That's right, brother. Come on, churches just fell away from God. Uh -huh. yeah. The Bible said they had turned their ear away from the truth. Yeah, they and they was turning to under fables. I'm gonna tell you, they want to hear everything but the word of God. Yeah, they want everything in the pulpit but the anointing of God. Right. I'm gonna tell you. It's very important what comes out behind the pulpit. I really believe that. I believe that we gotta we gotta watch, don't you? It don't matter who comes into the kitchen, but it matters to me who's the cook of my food, don't you? I'm gonna tell you, I'm peculiar. I mean, it's peculiar. I'm not gonna eat just any old thing. I'm not gonna sit under somebody that's telling me I don't have to speak in tongues, but I have the Holy Ghost and to be born again. I believe that you'll speak, don't you? But when they know glass gets full and it runs over, what does it do? It baptizes that whole glass. I'm sure God give you a portion to start out with. But when you get filled, it's going to come out. It's got to come out. 
So when they come out of that upper room, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. But America don't want that no more. I've got the Holy Ghost. Have you ever spoken in tongues? No, I ain't never spoken in tongues. But you need to continue on until you get filled. And when you get filled, you will speak in other tongues. I'm going to tell you, that's what Peter now preached. That's what's going to make our churches great again. Is get back to the old time preaching the word of God and let God be God and let Him do what He wants to do. But no, we're a high society and we don't want to get down in the floor and we don't want to sweat none. And we're afraid that we might smell like something. I'm going to tell you when John the Baptist came out of the wilderness, he didn't smell like a bottle of perfume. And that man had anointed and he looked at him. He said, You generation of vipers who has won you to flee from the wrath of God to come. Who was he a talking to? He was a talking to the scribe. Her church houses I said, pump full of scribes and Pharisee. And you will preach the word. And they'll get mad. And they'll get upset. I don't like that preacher. I'm going to tell you. And God's got somebody that's going to stand upon the word of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. He's a watch now for the soul. The truth will make us free once. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Amen. That's the only way we're going to be free. Uh-huh. America's bound down with so many spirits is because they won't receive the love of the truth. That's, That's right. right. They won't have it. Come on, free. But they think they're free. They uh-huh. think they're going to heaven. Uh-huh. They think they can party all week long and go to church on Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a lot of preachers in hell that's going to be in big trouble. I've got to tell them like you said, don't you? I ain't going to hell. I ain't the one black man to look for me down there in hell and say, why did you tell me the truth? Why did you tell me that I could do whatever I wanted to do? But now look where I'm at. I'm going to tell you tonight we better get a hold of the word of God. We better live like you said. We better be a preacher like you said. Because if I don't preach the word of God like he said, I'm going to be the one in trouble. And I ain't about to get in trouble with God. Amen. I'm going to preach like he said, don't you? I'm going to have any wants it like he said. I need mean, we have the man that he'll send it, don't you? I need mean, that God has got a church. I'm Brother J.R. They need to raise it up in this end time. That's going to go back to the book of Acts. And they're going to lay it on the line. Lord, let it be me. And give it to me. I'll lay it on the I ain't cut corners for nobody because I love you too much to see you end up in hell. There ain't been enough corners cut. That's what's wrong with America tonight. And the preachers have failed to preach the word of God. And they're afraid of losing their time members. And they're afraid they're offering to go down. That's the wrong thing to get into. If I come down here to preach for your money, I've been better up to stay in Chapmansville. I'm not allowed to the money. And God said, I'll supply your need. I don't have to have money. And God is the one that supplies me. He gives me strength to work to make. Come on. I thank you for it. Come on. I ain't out after money. If I want a hundred dollars, I've got to go and do a job to get. I ain't going to to some little church uh, that don't have a, a just a handful uh, and bomb it off and them I ain't going to do that. Uh, that's what's wrong. Uh, you look at these big mega churches uh, they got three and four thousand members in them. Uh, all they're after is the money. Uh, if everyone would throw in a dollar uh, there's four thousand dollars at one service. Uh, now you tell me that ain't got them persuaded uh, but you let them get up and preach uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that you had to be baptized in his name uh, and they'll walk out. And they know they'll walk out. That's why they're not a preacher. And they're preaching any old way he's going to do. But the way he's going to do is the book of Acts. That's what it's going to take. God said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the God that will not change. they preach preaching three gods, and they got people confused so much, they don't even know who to pray to. They don't even know who to pray to, Brother Jehovah. Amen. They don't even know his name to call on. If I want you, I gotta holler. JR, you'll know who I'm talking to. 
I want Samuel to say, Samuel, he knows what I'm talking about. You ain't going to get up come. That ain't your name. That's his name. That's what's wrong with America. That's why America's in the mess they're in. And they left the name. And now they got him all kinds of God. They ain't the one God. And Jesus is his name. I thank him for now because I know who he is. I thank him for that revelation. I like to get in the churches and preach one hour about Jesus Christ and him crucified. I want to know how far let us get in the message. We might get two minutes in, I don't know. I don't know if we get that far or not. But if I had a chance, I would sure tell them what Jesus said. I would tell them what the book of Acts says. And Brother Dale, if he started out right, they'll never end up right. But what's the right way? It's being Acts 2 30 and 8. I thank God tonight, don't you? For the power of the Word of God. That's what's going to bring deliverance to the house of God. They get back to what they preached in the book of Acts. And they preach of the Lord. Jesus Christ and Him crucified uh, was but one. Uh, they never did preach uh, where they three. Uh, I never did see where they baptized. Uh, do you in the title? Uh, every one of them uh, baptized in the name. Uh, now you tell me what's wrong tonight uh, with America. That's why America's messed up. Uh, they left the principles. Uh, they left the Word of God. Uh, that's why we're in the mess that we're in. Uh, but when you take God out of something, uh, uh, you open up to the door to the devil and uh, say, come on in devil and do what you want to do. And that's why our homes are in the shape that they're in. That's why the job is in the shape that it's in. That's why our schools are in the shape that they're in. And because of the word of God it's been adopted and they don't want it no more. And they won't have it no more. That's why our churches are in the mess that they're in. And they don't want it no more. It ain't that way no more. But when Peter left, he left too. And when I saw it a lie. And God is still here. I hear the day with you and I. He's still giving you and I of the word to preach that we can help others. Amen. Good, yeah. Praise the Lord, brother. Come That's on. why this country is messed up so bad. That's right. Amen. It's messed up so bad that it's going to take some hard preaching to get it back in track. Amen. Yes, sir. And I don't know if you'll ever do it or not. Come on. You might. You might reach a few. There might be a few that you reach. But I know the Bible says it's going to, it's going to wax worse. It's, worse. Worse, right? it's going to get worse. We're living in a good time right now. If God lets this world spend another 10 or 15 years, we'll see what kind of time we're in right now. Yeah. We better make good of it while we can. It may be coming a day that they're going to shut us down. They're going to take their Bibles. They ain't going to let us preach. Are you thinking they're coming? They're coming. Are they going to shut all of these little uh, single name Jesus churches down? Uh, because it's not my kid no more. Uh, the devil tried it uh, in the book of Acts. Uh, and they whooped him and beat the hide off in the back. Uh, and they said, We threat you uh, not to speak or teach anymore in this name. Uh, I'm going to tell you what upsets the devil. Uh, he ain't Buddha. Uh, he ain't Muhammad. Uh, he ain't the president. Uh, he ain't mommy. Uh, but it's the church that's called by his name. Uh, that's the one that upsets the devil. Uh, uh, you want to get the devil upset? Uh, and get where the truth of the word of God is. Uh, and you'll get him upset. Uh, he'll come out of the woodwork at you. Uh, he'll come out. Uh, he'll be driving down the road. Uh, and just right out of the blue. Uh, he'll come at you. I'm uh, going to thank God tonight. Uh, and that God is on my side. Uh, all I got to do uh, is call on Jesus. Uh, and God will deliver. Uh, it's time that we make our church great again. Amen. Amen. I want to have a good church, don't you? Amen. I want to have a good church of God, of God I can go to. I love His Word more than anything. Ain't nothing like His Word to me, Brother J. Yes, I love it more than anything, don't you? That's what it's going to take to deliver souls. If we ever want to make it to heaven, it's going to be to them by the Word of God. It ain't going to be by some organization. It ain't going to get you there. An organization will cause you to fail along the way. I'm going to thank God tonight for the genuine Holy Ghost. Don't you? I thank God tonight 
but we're, we're up on the real church that's called by his name. He's got a church that's called by his name that's going to stand upon his word. But we ain't going to compromise for mommy or daddy. But we ain't going to compromise for one another. But we all in this thing to make it. And the only way that we're going to make it is through it by the word of God. But we got to get where the spirit of God is. If we don't, the devil's going to ban us every one down. He'll hound you down with all kinds of things. He don't want you to go free. Amen. He wants you to think, Brother Jr. He wants us to think that we ain't living good enough. I'm living good enough, ain't you? I'm reading my Bible. I'm living by the Word of God. I'm obeying God by every chance that I get. Every day I wake up, I say, Lord, lead me, guide me in the truth of your Word. Help me, Lord, that my conduct will be right. I'm so serious with God. I want my attitude to be right. I want my looks to be right. I want my steps to be right. I want to be right in every way that I can, don't you? Because if the devil do one thing on us. He will do that and destroy you. He don't need a handful of things. Come on. All he needs is just one little thing. Right. One little thing's all he needs. That's all he's got to have is one little thing. And he can tire us all to pieces. But I want to have a great church. Right. I read about it in the book of Acts. I read what Jesus done, don't you? Amen. I read what he done for Peter and all of them. He's able to do it tonight too, ain't he? Yeah. He still gets the same God. That's what my Bible just said. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And God's able to raise the dead. He's able to do it tonight, ain't he? And God's able to open up the blinded eyes. He's able to do it again tonight. He's able to call to Emmanuel. He's able to call that little girl that time to hear better than you and I. He can get in her ears, and the devil's got to go. He can get in her tongue, and the devil's got to let her go. My God is real. He's able to do it. When Jesus went to the tomb, what did the man do that came out? The Bible said that no man could take. He would break chains. He would throw himself in the fire, wouldn't he? But when he seen Jesus coming out, he run and bed, he fell down to him. He said, why have you come to torment me before my time? But Jesus made him free. It was the word of God that made him free. It wasn't an idea what I come up with. It wasn't a some big fancy word that they got today. All that Jesus said was go. And that devil had to go. I'm going to tell you tonight, church, that we don't have to wrestle with the devil. All we ought to be able to do is say go devil when he's got to go. I believe that we can have that kind of power. I believe that God's given his church that kind of power. How many know that God is still yet the same who yesterday a day and forevermore? I don't have to wonder if God's able to do it tonight of what he did for Peter. I know that he's able. I know that he's able, Brother J.R., to raise the dead. When Paul preached to him, he fell out the window backwards and broke his neck. Paul went down and raised him from the dead. They said, what the Bible said. Is God able tonight to do that? And he sure is. But where the problem's at, it's in you and me. I'm just going to say it's you and I. It's in us. It ain't in his word. God's word don't never change. What God done 2,000 years ago, he's able to do it tonight. We want to make our churches great again. We've got to get back to the word of God. That's what we're going to have to do. We'll have to lay everything else aside and get in that book and say, God, show me where you want me. Amen. Show me what you want me to do. Right. Give me what you want me to preach. That's the way I do. I pray. To, and God, I pray. I'm serious when I come yeah. I'm down here to preach every month. Oh. And all the other places I pray. Yeah. And I just don't come up with a word. Sometimes it may take me two or three days to hear what God wants me to preach. But I continue on. But we've got to continue on. Because this church may not be like the church down the road. Hold on to God. I keep preaching the word of God. I don't let up for nobody. I hold on and believe in the word of God. Because God he's going to bring his people to with victory. Amen. We ain't going to be defeated. That's right. We can't be. Amen. No way that we can be defeated if we live by the word. That's right. We miss heaven if we'll go by the word of God. I don't question my salvation to you because I know I've got the right one. Amen. I know I've got the right one, Brother Teddy Hart. Yes, I fight too many devils not to have the right one. Amen. I love this word, don't you? 
I desire his word. I want to obey his word. I look to his word, don't you, for everything I need. Everything I need is right there in the word. There's an answer right there for everything that we come up against. I thank God tonight for the word that will help me to love those that persecute me. Amen. That's right. That's what God will do, won't he? Amen. Now they say to you, you, you do something to me and I'll get you back. If it takes me a year. Uh, That's the wrong attitude. Amen. That's not the attitude that God wants us to have. When they were smoking him on the face and, and doing everything to him, he looked and said, Father, forgive them for they know not what to do. That's the real spirit of God. Amen. When we can look at him and say, I still love you. I, I'm going to pray for you. That's a good sign that we've got the real spirit of God. Amen. But when we look at him and say, I'll get you. You'll not get away with this. That's the wrong attitude. That's where we need to get back to the altar and say, God, I create with you me a clean heart, Lord. I want the clean heart, don't you? Amen. I've got the head of what it takes to make it. I want to make it to heaven, don't you? Amen. How many really wants to make it? Amen. I want to make it, don't you? Amen. Brother J.R., it's not only I want to make it, it's I, I'm going to make it. Amen. I'm going to make heaven my home. If I had to find every devil in hell to get there, I'm going at you. And because it's going to be over with after a while. But the first thing that we got to do, we got to make our church great again. Amen. Before our economy ever gets right, yeah. it's got to start right here at the house of God. That's right. That's right. Before that, all this killing and all this murder can get under control. It's got to start right here. <clears throat> Man ain't going to do it. Country divided against one another. Why? Because it's what's, it's, it's what's in the White House is what's dependent. I mean, if we could get a good, a get a good preacher in there. That, that will preach the word of God. I mean that we can turn it around. Amen. But will we ever see it? I don't know if we will or not. God can do all things, can God can do anything that he wants to do. But I believe tonight if we had our churches praying again and seeking God like they used to, right. this country wouldn't be in a mess it's in. Amen. I believe that. Amen. I, we was talking the other day. I can remember going to Brother Mead's church years ago. And they used to be plumb full of saints. Yes. Plumb full of saints. And they're all gone, right there, every one of them. They're all gone, and now look. Look at the little churches today. They, they're sitting vacant. Yeah. Used to be at one time, the church like this would be packed out. Yeah. Yeah. And what's happened? What's happened? All our old saints has died off, and the younger ones come up, they have got weaker. And they brought in generation, they're weaker. Yeah. Each generation is falling further and further away from God. Man. Right. I'm going to tell you, it's time that we, the church, seeks the face of God. Right. I want to see a good church. Don't you all want to have a good community? I want to have a good, a, a, a good American place to live. This country was founded upon the Word of God. Yeah, and that, now they turned away from it, and it's going into hell. Amen. Amen. Bible. That's the word. Bible's going to come to any people that face God. He uh, that forsakes God, he will turn them into what? Amen. Hell. That's Amen. what the Bible says. Amen. <coughs> That's what he said. He's the one with it. He said he'll turn them into hell. Come on. I'm telling you, I ain't never seen nothing like this. Yes, I've never seen nothing like what we're facing today. No, no. Church, listen, he ain't gonna get no better. No. No. He can't get no better. No. Man ain't going to straighten this out. No, not. It's going to start right here at the house of God. Amen. That's where it's going to have to start. People are going to have to get back into the house of God and begin to really seek the face of God. They're going to have to make them an altar at their home, ain't they? Amen. But they all, when I was a boy growing up, I can remember we used to have church on every Saturday and Sunday and through the week we would gather at people's houses. I can remember my mom and dad going from house to house and they were having church and they had different ones each week. But now what's happening? Now, one day, don't. That's the thing. Yeah. One day is enough now. That's all you got to have one day yeah. for an hour. Yeah. They can't hardly wait to get out and in. They yeah. only watch the 9 o'clock movie. Yeah. What yeah. happened? Churches used to not break loose to about 10 or 10.30. That's when it started getting good. One, I can remember going. I can remember going to 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning to church. But now, now if you preach an hour and a half, man, you preach too long. What's the matter? What's wrong with us? We don't have that hungry that we need for God. We got a hungry for everything else, but we don't have a hungry for the Word of God. I know God is real. I know He's coming back for real people. How many believe that? I want to see God move again, don't you? I remember I preached a message. 
message one time. Let's go into overtime. That's where we got to get it. We got to go into overtime. We got what we really need to do is say, God, whatever you want me to do, that's what I want to do. If I fail doing it, at least I know I obey. That's what we got to But we're worried about what man may think about us. Well, if I don't perform like I like I should, then they're going to laugh at me. So be it. At least you tried. Man. At least we tried. I'd rather fail trying what you and I would fail not trying. I want to go to heaven, don't you? Yeah, because if I fall, I know I can get back up again. That's how we get our strength. Man. Up and down, up and down. That's what gets you strength. But I thank God tonight for you. I really do. Amen. I appreciate it. I hope I said something to help you. Yes, I try not to yes, hold you too long. But All right. I know that God is able to help us. I know God is real. Amen. I know that he's able to give us strength. Amen. But we're going to have to get back to the house of God. Yes, we're going to have to get back to the word of God if we ever going to have a great America again. Amen. I know that sounds crazy, no, sir. but it's what it's going to take. It's the truth. We're going to have a great church to have a great country. Now, that's where it starts at. You can't have a great country and not have a great church. God ain't going to move in sin, is he? No, God's going to move where, where his church is. God's going to move where truth is. That's where he's going to move. That's where he's going to move in, in, in the truth. I thank God for you tonight. If Brother Jerry wants to come, he can. But anyway, I love you all and I appreciate you. Amen.